Today, uh, we begin the process, and I, I stress begin the process, of announcing a number of awards. As we were doing this, we realized that there were issues other than just simply providing resources for processing. We understood that there was a need for support for the, for the supply chain, for the middle of the supply chain. And we understood there was also a need for uh, access to credit. Uh, so we began to put together a more comprehensive uh, uh, approach. Today we announce uh, roughly $233 million of assistance in three separate programs, $223 million, sorry, $223 million, uh, in three separate programs, uh, 32 awards, roughly 19 states uh, benefiting. Let me begin with the award here today, uh, almost $20 million being provided to Greater Omaha. One of 21 grants in 19 states, $73 million in total, going to all over the country, from Washington to Vermont, from, uh, from Louisiana uh, to North Dakota, and everything in between. Uh, these 21 grants are the first round of announcements we're making today. We expect and anticipate over the course of the next several months to make additional announcements under the first round of this processing grant program. We allocated $150 million in the first round. Uh, we will use that and maybe then some. And then we will be announcing very shortly the second round of processing opportunities. So this is going to continue uh, throughout 2023 because the need obviously is great. What we're doing is we're essentially creating resources to expand market capacity. The 21 grants being announced today will result in processing uh, more than a half a million additional head uh, each year. Now that means more opportunity for cattle producers in this country, for pork producers, uh, for uh, poultry producers. About 34 million uh, uh, increased capacity for the poultry industry. So roughly a half a million for beef and pork uh, and, and, and other meats, uh, poultry about 33 million additional capacity. This will also help to create jobs. Uh, over 1,100 jobs will be created in communities across uh, the United States. So we'll have new and expanded capacity, more competition, better opportunities for producers. We'll also strengthen the supply chain and we'll create greater resiliency in that supply chain and we'll be more supportive of local and regional food systems. All of this is a result of uh, this investment. These investments will not only create new capacity and competition, but they're going to a number of the projects uh, have a creative ways in which farmers and producers are involved. They'll strengthen the local and regional food system. They'll reduce barriers to processing they'll com allow competition at scale, they'll create jobs, and over time they'll create greater choice for consumers and lower costs. So we're excited about this round one of processing grants. In addition to that announcement, we're also announcing the first of a number of loan guarantees under our, loan, our, our uh, supply chain loan guarantee program. This is a program that provides resources and guarantees to banks who are lending money to cooperatives, uh, to for-profit companies, to tribes, to public entities. We've already awarded uh, 14 loans under this program, $254 million in guarantees. Four of those loans will allow for expanded access to meat and poultry processing, about $75 million towards those four projects. And we're also announcing uh, the first efforts in our meat and poultry intermediary lending program. This program provides resources to not-for-profit organizations uh, in the form of grants, which they in turn can then lend out uh, to small processing capacity uh, facilities to be able to ensure that they can stay in business. We've awarded $75 million to eight lenders in seven states. The grants range anywhere from $2 million to $15 million. These efforts complement the, the $54 million we've invested in 266 additional facilities 
that are now expanding their market capacity beyond selling just in-state to being able to sell uh, interstate, as well as the 2,800 small processing facilities that have been helped with reduced inspection fees. So you can see that this has been a, a, a comprehensive effort uh, to try to address in a very uh, significant way uh, a significant investment. President Biden uh, at the beginning of the year launched this initiative with a commitment uh, to invest roughly a billion dollars. I think we will likely exceed that by the time all is said and done. So the start, it starts today uh, and we're excited about this because it's better income for farmers, more job opportunities. It's really, as the President likes to say, we're rebuilding the middle class from the bottom up and the middle out. Uh, and we're excited about this opportunity. When you combine this with the climate smart agricultural activities that we announced recently uh, with some of the other initiatives uh, that are underway at USDA, it's been a very busy time uh, for USDA and I hope that uh, farmers and ranchers and producers all across the country understand that we're working every single day to expand more new and better markets. Uh, and again, I want to thank Greater Omaha uh, for the opportunity to be here today. Um, uh, you know. Maybe the next time I come, I may not bring a check uh, as large as the one I've got today, uh, but I was incredibly impressed with the, the, uh, the production system that they have. It is, is, it is really it's something to behold.